what's up you guys it's deep oe and today we will be creating this sparkle effect in photoshop usually photographers use long exposure technique in order to capture such photos but we will create the same effect in post production now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below we will surely try to create videos on those as well also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so without wasting any more time of yours let's get started So the first step we will be starting with is with the creation of our sparkle brushes. So for that we need to open any sparkle image. So for that go to file and then select the option as open. Now over here you need to select any sparkle image. Download link for the sparkle image I am choosing is in the description below and then select the option as open. Now we need to invert this image. So for that press ctrl or command on mac plus i and then we need to convert this image into a black and white image. So for that go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as black and white. And then you can set the settings as default and then click on OK. So now as you can see we have converted this image into a black and white image but as you can see there is a bit noise on the white background over here. Now I'm not sure whether that thing is visible in the video but we need to remove that noise and make the background as plain white. So for that go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as levels. And then you just need to drag the highlight slider more towards left. So now as you can see a value of 220 for the highlight slider is looking perfect for this image. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect by clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on ok. So now as you can see now it is looking proper but we still need to remove some of the extra stuffs and we will remove it by painting it with a white color. So for that select brush tool and then select the brush as soft brown. And then you need to make sure that the opacity and the flow is set to 100%. After that you need to set the foreground color as white. And then click on OK. And now using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to remove it. So now we have removed all the extra stuff. Now the next thing we need to do is define this image as a brush preset. So for that go to edit and then select the option as define brush preset. But as you can see at the moment define brush preset has been grayed out. It is because that the size of the image is greater than 2500 pixels. Now we need to reduce the size of the image. So for that go to image and then select the option as image size. And then you need to set the size of the width or height whichever is greater to 2500 pixels. After that you can click on OK. Now let me just make this image fit into the document. And then again let's go to edit and then select the option as define brush preset. And then you can give any name of your choice. I am giving the name as sparkle original. And then you can click on OK. I will be clicking on cancel since I have already created this brush. Now we need to create two more smaller brushes and we will be creating using the subset of this image. So for that select lasso tool. And then using lasso tool you need to make the selection around the area which you would like to be created as a smaller brush. So I am making the selection around this area. So now once the selection is complete after that you can again go to edit and then select the option as define brush preset. So as you can see from the icon over here that it is creating the brush with that of the selection only. After that you can give any name of your choice I am giving the name as sparkle small. And then you can click on ok. I will be clicking on cancel since I have already created this brush. So like this way you can create one more brush of medium size so let me just do that. And then you can repeat the same steps. And then you can click on ok but I will be clicking on cancel since I have already created this brush as well. Now all the brushes have been created but if you are still struggling with your brushes then you can download the ones which I have created at the cost of a like on this video. And the links for those brushes will be in the description below. So once we have created or downloaded the sparkle brushes now the next thing we need to do is open an image where we need to add this sparkle effect so let me just do that. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial then the link for this image will be in the description below. And then since we want to add this sparkle effect in the form of a text so for that select horizontal type tool. And then select any handwritten font of your choice. Download link for the font I am choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. And then set any appropriate size for your text. I am setting it to 40 point. And then you can set the foreground color to any color of your choice which will be the color of our text. Anyways we are going to change it later on so it won't matter. So I am setting the color as white for now and then click on OK. And then you can click on the document and then type in your text. Now I want some spacing between our letters L and O so that a couple fits in between those letters. So now let me just drag the cursor at O and then you can press the spacebar key of your keyboard. But as you can see it is giving too much of spacing so let me just go a step back and then you can reduce the size of your text to around 20 point. 
and then you can try giving the space. So now this is perfect. After that, you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. And then using move tool, you need to place this text properly. So let me just do that. So now our text is looking perfect. Now the next thing we need to do is trace a path around this text. So for that, select pen tool. And then from the drop down, make sure that the path option has been selected. After that, you can click on the path operations icon and then select the combined shapes option. And then using the pen tool, you need to trace the path around the text as follows. So for that, let me zoom in a little bit into the image and then you can trace the path as follows. It's okay if your path is not perfect, it gives the text a more natural look. Now I want to break this path over here and start a new path so for that hit the enter or return key on your keyboard and then go to the paths tab. After that you need to click on the work path which will again give you that path and then you can start creating the path again but this time it will be a new one. So as you can see we have created a discontinued path. So now second path is also complete now the next thing you need to do is again hit on the enter or return key on your keyboard. And then again click on the work path area which will again give you that path. After that go to the layers tab. And then you need to hide the text layer by clicking on the R icon. Now let me just make this image fit into the document. And then you need to create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. Now we need to fill this path with that of the sparkles which we have created. So for that select brush tool. And then you can click on the toggle brush panel icon. After that you need to go to the brushes section. Now over there you need to select the sparkle small brush. But now we need to do some settings for this sparkle small brush. So for that go to the brush settings and then over there you need to select the shape dynamics option. And then over there you need to set the size jitter to maximum that is 100%. Also you need to set the angle jitter to maximum that is 100%. So now I think that's it for the shape dynamics. After that you need to select the transfer option and then set the opacity jitter to around 20%. Now again you can go to the brush tip shape option. Now in the brush tip shape option you need to make sure that the spacing checkbox has been checked and then you need to set the spacing to around 10%. After that let me just try painting with this settings. So as you can see the size of the brush is too large so we need to reduce it. So let me just reduce that. So as you can see we have reduced the size of the brush to around 90 pixels. After that you can close this checkbox. And then you need to set the foreground color to white which will be the color of our brush and then click on ok. After that you can again select pen tool. And then you need to right click on the path and then select the option as stroke path. Now you need to set the value of the tool to brush and then click on ok. So now as you can see it filled the path with that of the brush. Now let me just zoom in and show it to you. After that let me just make this image fit into the document. Now let's rename this layer as small sparkle. Now the next thing we need to do is again create a new layer. So for that click on create new layer icon and then again go to brush tool. After that again click on brush panel icon and then go to brushes. Now over here you need to select the brush as sparkle medium and then again go to brush settings option and then you need to set the settings as same which you had set for previous so let me just do that. The only difference for this brush setting will be that we will be setting the spacing to around 20% and also we will reduce the size of the brush as well so let me just do that. So around 120 pixels looks good after that you can click on this cross icon and then again select pen tool and then repeat the same steps. Now let me just show you the before and after of this layer. So this was the before and now this is after. After that we need to rename this layer as follows. And then again we need to create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. And then again go to brush tool. And then again click on brush panel icon. After that again go to brushes. And then this time you need to select the original sparkle brush. After that again go to brush settings. And then set the settings as previous. And for the spacing of this brush we will set it to 100%. And then we will reduce the size as well so let me just do that. So as you can see a size of 500 pixels is looking good for this brush. After that you can close this pop up and then select pen tool and then repeat the same steps. Now let me just show you the before and after of this layer. So this was the before and now this is after. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove this path. So for that click on enter or return key of your keyboard in order to remove it. After that we need to merge all the three sparkles layer into a single group. So for that press shift and then click on the small sparkle layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between. And then you can press ctrl or command on mac plus g in order to place all the three selected layers into a single group. And then let me just rename this group to sparkle. Now the next thing we need to do is get the selection of a couple. So for that we need to hide this group layer at the moment and then make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then select quick selection tool. 
Now using quick selection tool, you can select the couple in the image, but I am a bit lazy over here and we'll go ahead with the select subject option, which is default in Photoshop. So as you can see, the selection is not proper and we need to refine it. So let me just do that. Now you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Also, if you want to deselect a selection, then all you need to do is click on the minus brush icon and then using the brush hover over the area where you want to deselect it. And again, if you want to select something, then all you need to do is click on this plus brush icon and then again hover over the areas where you want to select it. So now our selection is looking proper. Now the next thing we need to do is create a duplicate of this image which is inside of the selection. So for that you need to press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J and then let's rename this layer as couple. And then again you can unhide the sparkle group layer by clicking on the icon. Now the next thing we need to do is add some darkness to our background image. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as color lookup. Now over there you need to click on the drop down and then select the moonlight 3dl option. But we want to reduce this effect from our couple so for that press Ctrl or command on Mac and then click on the icon of the couple layer which will again give you the selection of the couple and then select brush tool. After that select the brush as soft round and then you need to set the foreground color as black and then click on OK. After that you need to make sure that the mask of the color lookup table is active by clicking on it and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to reduce it. So I think this is looking proper. After that you need to press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus D in order to deselect the selection. And then we need to add some feathering to our mask. So for that click on the mask of the color lookup table in order to make it active. After that you need to set the feathering to around 400 pixels. Now let me just show you the before and after of this color lookup table. So this was the before and now this is after. Now the next thing we need to do is make the background even more darker. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as exposure. And then you can set the value of the exposure according to your preference. So let me just do that. So now this much darkness is looking proper but over here as well we need to remove it from the couple and some of the background which is around the couple. So for that again press Ctrl or command on Mac and then click on the couple icon layer which will again give you the selection. And then we need to expand this selection so for that go to select and then modify and then select the expand option. After that you need to set the expand by to 40 pixels and then click on ok. And then using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to remove it. So let me just do that. So I think this much is looking proper. After that you need to press Ctrl or command on Mac plus D in order to deselect the selection. Now we need to remove the harshness of this mask. So for that click on the mask of the exposure layer in order to make it active. After that you can set the value of the feather layers according to the softness you want. So let me just do that. Now let me just show you the before and after of this exposure effect. So this was the before and now this is after. So now as you can see now it is looking proper. Now the next thing we need to do is add some glow to our text. So for that make the sparkle group layer active by clicking on it and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as outer glow. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as linear dodge and then set the opacity to around 40% noise to 0% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows. FFC000 and then click on OK. After that you need to set the technique as softer, spread as 0% and then size to 20 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow effect. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is place this sparkle text behind our couple. So for that again click on Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the couple layer icon which will again give you the selection of the couple. Now we need to invert this selection so for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus Shift plus I in order to invert it. And then you can click on add layer mask icon which will keep the contents which is inside of the selection and hide the rest of the contents. So now this is looking proper but I feel that we should bring back this part of the letter. So for that set the foreground color as white and then click on OK. Now using the brush tool you need to hover over the area where you want to bring it back. So now this is looking proper. Now let's add some more glow to our text. So for that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. And then you need to set the foreground color as follows. FFAE00 and then click on OK. After that using the brush tool you need to hover over the text as follows. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Make sure that the opacity and the flow of the brush is set to 100%. And then let me just go a step back and start again. And then you need to change the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge as well. And then you need to reduce the opacity of this layer to around 5%. And then we need to remove it from the couple as well. So for that again press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the icon of the couple layer. 
and then we need to invert this selection so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus shift plus i in order to invert it and then click on add layer mask icon now let me just show you the before and after of this glow effect so this was the before and now this is after now we need to add some highlights to this couple so for that make the exposure one layer active by clicking on it and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as exposure and then you need to set the value of the exposure according to the brightness of the highlights you want so let me just do that now we need to blend this exposure layer properly with that of the image so for that double click on the exposure layer which will give you the blending options pop up now over there you need to set the underlying layer according to your image so let me just do that so once it looks proper after that you can click on okay now we need to invert this mask so for that make the mask of the exposure to layer active by clicking on it and then press ctrl or command on mac plus i in order to invert the mask after that set the foreground color as white and then click on okay and now using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to reveal the highlights so now as you can see we have revealed all the highlights now the next thing we need to do is add some color to this highlight so for that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color after that you can set the same orange color ffae00 and then click on okay and then you need to right click on the color fill layer and then select the option as create clipping mask and then change the blend mode of this color fill layer to linear dodge now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so this was the before and now this is after now the next thing we need to do is add some camera raw filter to our couple image so let me just do that so now as you can see now image is looking something like this now after that i want to apply the camera raw filter to the whole image so let me just do that so now as you can see now our final image is ready now if you want to get the values of the camera or filter i have applied then you can download the psd which i provided in the description below so now as you can see now it is looking proper so yeah that's it guys that's the final image i hope you guys like this video on how to create the sparkle effect in photoshop now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop thanks for watching bye bye